All right, it is another day of working on the heavy wrecker in the shop. We have got a late start today. Trevor's not even back from lunch, but we are, so we're gonna get started. What are we doing? We're welding. That's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> what are we working on today? <laughs> Boom, baby. Here it is right there, that's what we're working on. For those of you that said the boom wasn't finished, sharp eye, you caught us. We're gonna finish it. Not today though. So remember, we've turned over a new leaf in the shop. Hey, I didn't help put it up. Does that mean I have to follow the rule? You have to. <laughs> it's specifically okay. for you, Lizzie. It's literally written for you. <laughs> for me. Gosh dang it. I just need to get this tacked in here really quick. All right. It doesn't have to be level, it just has to look level. For those of you that don't know, duh. <laughs> I need it again, Lizzie. I just did a bad thing. Sorry. Okay, I hope that's square because I tapped it in a couple places. All right, Lizzie, as you were. Let's get those welded up Sounds and then good. we can hang this up and you can get to these other ones easier. So we got a bunch to weld up here. It's all pretty much going to look the same. So we're going to time lapse this next little section. All right, so we've got the winch plate welded up and it's good. We started on the end of the boom. Now we're gonna finish the end of the boom. So we're gonna keep being awesome. All right, what you got there? One Come modified. On ring. Yeah, we notch that out so that it'll fit. Just nice. like that. There's a lot to figure out. This boom, we've kind of designed it on the floor and we just cut pieces out and welded it together. We've got to figure out how the rest of the pieces go on so they work and they look good and it works good and it looks good. What you working on? I'm opening my mail. These are stuffed to do the wiring. It's getting close. We're gonna be firing this thing up soon. Next video, I bet. Unless it's this video. All right, we've got to run a pipe through here. We've got to attach some things to it, and then we got to... There's going to be some stuff. Nailed it. I'm on a normal metal now. <laughs> well, we'll talk to you later, Eric. Yeah. Bye. I just got off the phone with Eric, BSF Recovery, talking about the tow truck Olympics. We're all excited. Jazz hands. All right, so that's how those set. I think this needs to be like this, and then this needs to bend down. I think we need to bend down. Oh, that'd be dope. So we were gonna set up the tubing bender, but we're too lazy for that. So we're gonna do it this way. That did it. Okay. I felt that move. Yeah. Didn't even kink it. That's nice work, boys. Oh yeah. That's it right there, dude. Okay. We're gonna figure this out. Skeeter, look down this and tell me how straight everything is. Is that is this pipe straight? I think that's okay. good. Okay, tack that, Lizzie. You ready to weld that? Do you want to just weld it right here? Yeah. There, see? We don't make mistakes. We make happy little accidents. Okay, this one needs to be super precise. Man, I don't think you're gonna get any better than that. That's gonna be about like that. What do you think, Ed? This is what's gonna control the boom. Oh. This is where the pulleys are for that the winch hooks up to. Oh. 
It'd yeah. be super easy just to have Flog build me a brace. Yeah, those look good. That's kind of what we've been doing. I think I'm going to make something for Flog. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That's what we need. All right, we're back. So we are still working on the boom here. We've got these parts from Flog welded on, and we've got these parts that we're going to weld on. Look at that. Back from the machine shop. Uh, we got Trevor working today. He's going to be figuring out how we're going to get gas in the gas tank. Believe it or not, this is the fuel filler. Yeah. We got Lizzie here to do some welding. Skeeter, I'm surprised you don't got a grinder in your hand. I got three or four of them right there. Ready to go. All right. <laughs> we got a lot to do. We got skid plates to put on. I'm going to try to get this working today. That's my goal. So. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah. We're going to pick you guys up and down. All right. We're going to start getting these set up and uh, get them pointed the right direction. So the way these work, these are replaceable, consumable if we get grooves in them. If they wear out too fast, I'm gonna have these made in stainless steel, but right now we're starting with aluminum. But you can see we've made these holes too wide, and then we made these cool things that go on there. So we'll be able to adjust these so that they're pointed right at the winch, right at the center of the drum, and then the winches are clockable left and right too. So we should be able to get it all aligned pretty good, then tacked into place. That's the goal. That's what we're gonna try to do. Lizzie, let's do this. Okay, that's what we're aiming for. Oh man, this is so amazingly good. Perfect. Close enough. The only thing you're welding is these holes. Okay. you're gonna need jack stands and I can help run the lift but we need those arms in position to set these. Stop. I think we'll be able to fill that gap I'm not worried about oh, you it. You didn't even use card. No no cardboard. Get everything out from underneath this, and then let the jack down, and then see if we can get the other side done. Okay, Lizzie, how's this looking? Hot potato. Okay. Okay, there's a little bit of grinding. We got too big of a weld right here. Just a little bit fat. Skeeter gonna grind it down flat. Let's see how Lizzie did here. Those are all on there. All right, let's put the pipes in them. We should just clear coat those. We are. Pepe, rifle man, I'd like you to look through those and see if they're sighted in. <laughs> they're sighted in, huh? Yeah. The eye never lies. Looks dead center to me on that one. And on that one. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. So you're going to be doing about that long. Just around every one. Uh, at every single dot. Okay. okay, Lizzie, you go jump on that side. I'll jump on this side.
Go ahead and weld that as pretty as you can. You're going to be looking at it every time you put gas in this. I would do one oh, continuous wow. weld from the top to the bottom, and then from the top to That's the bottom. About As soon as that cools down, Trevor's gonna finish putting it together. Not making this very careful. Okay. Get across the wall. Boy, we got some gaps to fill, but that's how we do here at Matt's Off-Road Recovery. So we got these tacked up. Lizzie's gonna do some more welding on it. And then we're gonna go back to the boom and work on that. We're kind of all over this thing. We got a big crew today. Look at the size of this crew. We got Lizzie. I'm this big. <laughs> <laughs> we got Hefe. We got Trevor. Oh, we got Skeeter. And then we got me. And I'm this big. I come up with stuff like that every once in a while. <laughs> Better check tonight for a blue moon. Getting pretty good at this, Lizzie. What, welding or squeezing in tight places? Squeezing in is the easy part, squeezing yeah. out. Squeezing out is more difficult. Look. <laughs> there we go, I did it. Okay, so I got the holes drilled, the pipes in place. Lizzie welded them up, and here it is. Tubes on, fuel comes in here, goes into the tank. Venti fumes go out here into this little thing Matt made. You'll see more of that in the future, and Matt will explain it better. But for now, that's what we got. I'm gonna get this tacked on, and then Lizzie's gonna get it welded on. So basically, we don't care if it's straight or not. We just care if it looks straight. We're gonna let Lizzie finish this. So before Skeeter gets the strap put on, just reach in there and just get me a one inch weld there, one inch weld there. Um, reach in here, same thing, one inch weld, one inch weld. Why didn't we just throw these all the way through? Because then it would weld to this. I think you did it backwards. I have to get the too. I, I tried to verify with you, oh. but I wasn't for sure. Oopsie. It's Lizzie just go in there to show Matt my shame. Oh no. <laughs> Did you build it backwards on purpose? No. It was a practice run. <laughs> It is too far. Your bend ended up right where the rivet's at, which is actually kind of cool. Do full perimeter, do this style, do the stitch. All the way down. All done. Okay, now you can come slam this and bend it. Sounds cool, huh? <laughs> All right, look at this. You guys did a good job. Man, that's pretty, Lizzie. Thanks. The crown jewel of the boom. I even like did this overhead welding, and I'm very surprised about how it turned out. You did this too, didn't you? Yeah, I did all of those. Yeah, that looks super good. All right, how heavy is this? Huh? Lift it. <laughs> Holy smokes! I want to see if I can lift it. Uh, I won't be able to lift it that high, but... Oh. She's at a good level underneath it. She's pretty tough. <laughs> it's, I'm in that like medium point yeah, where yeah, it's I'm either too... all arms or all legs. Yep. All right, we got a lot done today. It was mostly Lizzie and Skeeter and Trevor because I've been kind of absent today. Sorry about that, guys. No worries. So tomorrow we're gonna get the winch mounted up that runs the boom and get that all threaded up and show you how it works. Yeah. All right, it is another day in the shop. 
Lizzie, come in hot. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about that for a second. That, that should hold you, but don't do that again. <laughs> read that sign out loud. C A. No, you read it. Caution. <laughs> uh, should you do it on purpose? Yeah. Maybe. All right. So, our goal today is get this boom working and the winches working off of a jump box. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we've got the winch mounted up there. It's all good. The fuel tank's all completely mounted. So now the first thing we need to do is modify these brackets. Skeeter's gonna cut one out. I'm gonna cut the other out. We're gonna get after it. Gotta beat him, gotta beat him. Clutch. Claw hammer wins again. <sighs> Claw hammer. Or anything. So you're saying they're working? Huh? Exactly. I just don't wear hearing protection because when I retire, I just don't want to listen to anybody anymore. <laughs> you're just gonna be sitting there. Will somebody answer that dang phone? <laughs> what is that ringing? Now do the other side exactly the same. See if you can get a little bit better tie on the other side. Don't do any worse than this. Let's just say that. Ooh, that's way better. That look better? Yeah. Just grab all the remotes and just start pushing the buttons. So We've got seven winch controllers to sift through. <laughs> this is funny. That's not it. All right, we're gonna get this figured out. I knew this day was coming. Okay, yeah, here's number five. Okay, you're on the Oh, we found it! Woo! We did it. So, Lizzie, we're gonna wind this up. All right, stop. We're gonna see if this is gonna work, Ed. We, this is our first time testing to see if this is gonna work. Run it out, Trevor. All right, stop. This is not the finish, like the rope routing's right, but these bolts are definitely not properly installed. So it's not gonna matter. We're not picking anything up with it today except for Trevor and Lizzie and Skeeter. That's gonna be that fun. End. This is the moment. This is my moment of triumph. Does this work? Here we go. Hot dog, hot diggity dog. Yes. Go for it. <laughs> Matt got a raise. They want to take a ride. One arm it and be awesome. Three, two, one. Oh, she's showing off. She's showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we gotta spool those other ones up. I ordered those machined tight. If we need to put some heat shrink on that at a later date, we Cowgirls can. Cowgirls with knives. That's two dangerous things together. <laughs> we need to read that sign a lot more. Caution. Okay, Trevor, your next task is to simply hook up this next winch. Never mind. Hey, hey! Oh, this is gonna blow their minds. I have been waiting for this moment ever oh, since I started my YouTube channel. Oh, no. Come over here. Together? So. They are way harder to tell us. Yes, so, these are my sisters. No, we are not triplets. <laughs> a lot of people say the four of us look a lot alike. <laughs> no, these are twins. They are my twin sisters, and they are four years younger than I am. They're four years different. Four years. <laughs> I'm a real solo then, so. <laughs> <I'm> sad. <laughs> you guys ever pull a switcheroo on people? Oh yeah, oh, all the all time. The time. <laughs> they, they did an April Fool's joke on their teachers where they switched classes for the entire day. And did half the teachers notice? Or, or they and nobody really did. Nobody noticed? Yeah. So. You know what I would do if I was a twin? 
I would secretly try to set my divorced parents back up <laughs> at summer camp. Okay. It's like a Me and Erica are wondering if we can get a hundred dollars sponsorship for each of us for Peach Day's Queen and attendant. Did they get their sponsorship? Of course they do. <laughs> so Hurricane's annual Peach Day celebration is coming up this Labor Day weekend. It's going to be awesome. There's going to be a parade. There's going to be a rodeo. There's going to be booths. You're going to get to see Ed with the golden nugget. We'll be around Hurricane and we'll be at the celebration. There's tons of live music that you can listen to. There's the rodeo that we will be participating in. So come out. It's going to be a great time. The sponsorship supports the buckles for the Peach Day's Rodeo Queens and Princes. So that's how you get a buckle, I guess. You enter the rodeo, do well, and you get a buckle. This is from Peach Days. And this is Peach Days Queen 2022. Yeah. And this is a skeet shooting contest. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get mad at belt buckle now. <laughs> the off-road Olympics championship. I'm gonna, it's gonna be an old one. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna be shit. in charge of ordering oh, those. Oh, it's gonna be That's a big gonna one. Be great. <laughs> I want it to be okay. novelty, like WWF. <laughs> It'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. Call Paul Cox. Call him right now. <laughs> so we got the boom more done. It's not completely done, but it's more done. It is functional. We got the winches running today. They're winding up beautifully. The whole thing, it's just coming together. It's looking awesome. Super, super exciting. I was able to do a little swinging on the winches. It's great. There's some things we got to work out. You'll get to watch us do that. Some of them we'll do in secret. Those are boring. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That tow truck buckles ours. <laughs>